It's horrific, for one thing. Just overwhelming devastation. A family grieving over the death of a brother, uncle, and beloved friend. Thomas Cook recently retired to Costa Rica, but the paradise the Vermont man was seeking there took a quick turn for the worse. Our grief is really covered and layered in this other piece about how he died. Last August, the 62-year-old was reported missing. His rental apartment in the beach town of Yako was found empty. You can't even make this stuff up. After you know, weeks of searching, his remains were spotted in a shallow grave two hours from his home. And it was a passerby that happened to see him. It wasn't the authorities that found him. A young woman he met there could be a person of interest in the case. He just really um, had a relationship with her and um, was very trusting person and we're finding out a lot of alarming information. Cook's family says the Missing Americans Project played a major role in their efforts to find him. Although the U.S. Embassy, State Department, and congressional leaders did all they could to help, they'd like to see policy change when it comes to dealing with missing persons cases abroad. And most importantly, urge others to be careful when traveling. So many people don't ever get closure. Um, and so for that fact, I'm very, very grateful that we'll be able to um, bring him home and put him in his final resting spot. In South Burlington, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.